when do you think the breaking point will be for the U.S.? Will it be an attack first or will it be, um, you know, will it be some sort of terrorism that's going on in that region? What, what do you think will be the catalyst to get U.S. to make the proper decision in uh, taking the steps to finally solve this issue? I would say, Jermaine, in response to your question, there's three or four things that could tip the scale over. Number one. If Europe got on board with full compliance with all sanctions and the economic borders of Iran were sealed, I mean really sealed, Iran would collapse very, very quickly. It's impossible for a country like that to survive without trade. Mm -hmm. Now, what would happen? Well, it could be internal revolution. It could be the mullahs fleeing Iran and taking the billions they've stolen and going to enjoy the money in Switzerland or Bahrain or Singapore or someplace like that. Um, that's a possibility. Another possibility is terrorism grows because they get so desperate that the proof becomes so clear that everybody gets on board with some sort of response. Um, another possibility is they strike out at Israel, thinking that's a way to get the United States to back down. Israel is very, very concerned about that. And in a number of occasions over the past year, some of this, what I'm going to say, has made it to the press and some has not. Israel has carried out a very significant number of raids into Syria and Lebanon blowing up Iranian military sites. In other words, Iran is merging into those countries or with those countries extreme amounts of military hardware. And the purpose is to conquer those countries, make them client states of Iran, and also to use them as launching bases against Israel, which is why Israel sends in fighter bombers, missiles, drone attacks, and long-range missiles out of Israel, and sometimes even commandos with helicopters, to blow up these places. And Iran never does anything about it and never denies the fact that these are true military sites in those countries. If I can tell you, if they hit Israel, Israel will strike back. Netanyahu just the other day uh, did um, a press release in front of the new F-35 Raptors that Israel bought from the United States the long-range new joint strike fighter saying these fighters can reach into Iran and we have no hesitancy about doing that. Remember 1982 Israel flew from northern Israel all the way to Baghdad and mm -hmm. blew up Saddam Hussein's nuclear reactor that he was building nuclear weapons with, right? Yep. Then yeah. years later they blew up a nuclear reactor in Syria that had built built by the North Koreans they have no hesitation if they get desperate and they think Iran is coming, they're not going to take the first blow. They'll go after Iran. Now, the other possibility is, which Trump seems to talk about this, but I don't know how real it is, Jermaine, which is if things get desperate enough for Iran and to prevent the country from collapsing, perhaps they'll come back to the negotiating table and say, okay, 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 we give up. Let us trade. Let us build planes and trucks and have cars and export oil and you guys can come in and we'll dismantle our entire nuclear weapons program and the missile program and we're going to be a regular country that you guys want to be uh, in business with and have affiliations with and we're going to open the borders to massive inspections. If they were to do that, everything would change in a heartbeat. And Trump has said he's open to it. And he said he would have direct negotiations with the Iranians. He's saying the right thing. I mean, you don't negotiate with your friends, you negotiate with your enemies. Mm -hmm. And he's willing to do it. God bless him for it. But when he makes those tweets, the Supreme Leader and the President, Rouhani is the President, comes back with, Trump is retarded. 
we would never talk to him. Yeah. He's insane. And the Supreme Leader, Khomeini, says similar wildly insulting things. I don't think they're close to say, hey, let's sit down and talk. Unless you send John Kerry, because he's a total pushover, and we can talk him into anything because he's dumb. 